Hello, this is a note on a video note on um, how to use the NOAA tide and current data that's online. Uh, and we have an article here, NOAA discontinues these books, how do we use the online data? And, if, and I'm going to put the link here in this uh, description. Here's the link we're going to use, tidesandcurrents.noaa.gov. Go Google will find that instantly. And here are the instructions uh, right here, nine steps and so forth. So here are the, and I've just copied these so I can periodically refer to these and see that we've done what it says. But I'm just going to follow these steps exactly that's here. Okay, so I go to a new browser. Now you can do tides. Look, it's going to go right there. Well, that went to a glossary. Keep going. Tides and currents. Tides and C-U-R-R-E-N. Currents. Well, it doesn't matter. Tides and current, you just get rid of this glossary. Uh, somehow that must be show up in Google more often. But that's the link you want, just plain tidesandcurrents.noaa.gov. And then you get a picture here. And then you go in, well, our, exa our examples in the class are from Washington State, but you do exactly the same for any state. It's perfectly symmetric. We're not going to use any of this stuff here. We're just going to go straight to the state. Okay, then the instructions at this point are going to tell you to don't do anything else. Just go over here and click advanced and click advanced. Then it's going to tell you come down here to the data type drop down. That's here. And let's say we want current predictions. You can go here and click. We're going to use one of these two current predictions or tide predictions for this what we're doing now later in life you can come back and play and see all kinds of interesting data here you can look at the inverse barometer effect by looking at real water levels and stuff like that but for now we just want regular old current and tide predictions that used to be in the books okay so I click current predictions now once I've done that it doesn't look like it exactly but we're done we're actually done everything is here like this is like I don't know what that means 72 stations 11 stations I don't know but then you just roll in here on the right a mouse clicking to roll in and there are all the stations right here if you want to you can put on a, over here put on a nautical chart these will be ENC charts and you can actually you know zoom in and these these will bring in charts and you'll see like here's what Smith Island minor island is and here's a station near it over here and so forth or since it purple on purple that's not maybe so clear you can just shut it off and see it and so this is then the um, the the places here then I want this one let's say I want Smith Island current station now here I've got this thing popped up now let me see here Check your station for current station that we data several depths. Where where does it say here? Click your station to get the data at present value for current stations. There will be more closest. Um, click more data. Okay, that's what I'm after. What am I clicking here? I got two things I could click, and it says here, click more data, more data, right here. That's the one current prediction data. Okay, so I'm here. And now here is the data, and now you can go in. You can go like in years. You can uh, actually, I think you can only go one year forward and one year back. So you could go one year forward and one year back, and then you put the date and so forth. And uh, you're going to want uh, you're going to want 24 hours and knots, uh, lo local standard time. Usually local standard time. This means um, this this is this means it's going to switch to daylight time in the summer. This is going to stay at local standard time. That was like the old ones, but this is a little smarter. Local standard time, local daylight time. That looks good. We want knots, um, and, and then there, there's so forth. And now you can actually say I want it for the 13th or something, and then you say submit. And then you're going to see that data as a graph and that date over here. Now, if we want the, uh, if we want to make a book, a table of ourselves, you would go up here to annual predictions. And then you would pick the year. Looks, those are the years you've got. You, well, it looks like you can go back two years or forward two years. You want a PDF. You again, this is a good choice here. You want knots. I would choose 24 hours, and we're taking Smith Island. So that's going to give us Smith Island, and you say create. 
and I don't know how long that takes. I don't want to take up too much. Oh, it didn't take up that time, too much time. I'm going to say minus, minus. Now, that's just showing me the PDF online. I'm going to have to then download it. And that's going to be a whole year. This is now what you would then print out or put in. Just email this to yourself, and you have it in your phone. You know, so that's all the data for that. And it's only like four pages here, so it's not very big. So you could take the four or five pages that you care about and mail them to yourself. But that's the way you get the. That's the way you access these. You do the tides and currents exactly the same way, except back in that earlier button. Instead of putting current prediction, you put tide predictions. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Maybe. <laughs>